recently. Hi, so nice, we're nice, good. Nice. We're in there. All right, oh. so we're rocking right into it. Uh, you know, Nairo, Nairo was versus waiting Leon. for his match. We got Nairo and Leon. Leon rocking the Bowser. Right. Uh, very, I think, underrepresented character currently in this game, especially with how good yeah. not only his base knockback got increased on the last patch, but really just the threat and how fast he moves as a heavy. Right, and you know, they really, uh, for example, Nairo, known for having his amazing Bowser back in Smash 4, to quote him, he said he stopped playing Bowser because they made him a real character in this game. So, uh, that you know, you're going to see Leon was a great Smash 4 Bowser main, and he's made great use of all these new changes. Like, this is a real character, and he's actually scary. And having like, a frame 6 grab or frame right. 7, one or the other, being able to get that out of the air and on the ground, right. especially with shielding being so bad in this game, you want to do an out of shield option, almost catching oh, him with wow. it right almost there. Almost got that platform got drop side B, yeah. Yeah, and you know, the other thing is, uh, to go back to what you are saying, it's like, Bowser was, is one of the only heavies in this game that actually does have good out-of-shield options. Oh, uh, there he goes, taking that first stock with a fair, calling out Nairo's jump. Yeah, recovering a little high, that's something you gotta be really careful against a character who can kill so consistently. Going deep, I thought Leon, honestly, was yeah. gonna go for the dare. Just take Just the, to do it. You yeah. know, you're at 100%, uh, percent, but you got him at zero, that's worth it every right. time. That's oh, gonna wow. be it. Nairo answering with that, calling out the directional air dodge with that up smash, like super active move. So uh, yeah, that's that's gonna catch your, your directional air dodge to the ledge right before the character snapped. And one of the things you gotta be careful with Nairo is being too active in disadvantage. He holds your ability to get back down the ground against you. He makes it right. seem like you have an opening, right. and then he snipes out and sharks those landings. But right. Leon. Being a big heavy doesn't really seem to care too much and really yeah. holding his ground well. And already, like, Leon, they, they've actually played before uh, somewhat recently, and Leon was looked really out of his element. But this time, he's looking, he's keeping up with the best, man. Like, this is really cool to watch. Yeah, you say out of his element, like, he looks like he's been playing Smash Up so well, calling Let's him out on go. the jump off ledge with Dare. But I like the fact that Nairo's like, you know what, I'm not coming right back at you. I'm going to reset. Right. It's a bad situation for me. Yeah, and, and Leon doing a good job getting off the ledge here. That can be the most challenging part of heavy matchups, heavy characters against Palutena. <gasps> oh, oh almost had a potential frame trap there too, but Nairo got back down just fast enough. Wow. Nairo looking for that downer, I feel like, or that nair. He wanted Leon to just press a preemptive button, but Leon played it really smart. He just waited and took his time getting back to ledge. And well done on Leon to being able to box himself out of the corner, because a lot of people get too scared when they're buried in the corner like that. And he, oh, oh calling out the spot dodge with the, the fair. Let's go. Leon just taking these stocks at the ledge, man, calling out Nairo's options, and Nairo answering back immediately. Yeah, you got to take advantage of that uh, invincibility from the angel platform, bury him in the corner, and Nairo not letting that get out of hand. Last thing you want is a Bowser with a large lead against you. Right. And this is a really intense set. This is great to watch. Like, we're just watching them both go at each other and uh, doing a great job. These stocks are flying by, man. And I love the fact that nobody's really been overpowering so far. Leon has been doing excellent of consistently racking on damage where he needs it, but that's the problem right there. Once you get caught in this, an yeah, easy way to bring it up, but he actually got caught on the platform instead, not being able to extend further. Oh man, and Nairo kind of biting off a little more. You could chew there, like dropping in with a fair like that. And now he's at kill percent too, to a potential yeah. side B or a call out on one of these aerials. Bowser doesn't lack anywhere near any problems in the kill department. Oh man, one straight hit from Bowser is going to do it at this percent. He might get this fair again. Nairo trying to keep the advantage and not give him a chance. That's the stop. Ooh, that was Let's an go. excellent yeah. frame trap that led that to that great. first game coming in from Leon with a very positive head yeah. You're like, all right, I can do this. Yeah, man. definitely. But, like, Nairo had to respect that. It, yeah. If he decided to DI out and he got caught prior to the air dodge, he just would have been deleted by that right. fair. Going back in, how fast that command grab is, he was right. able to cover that option. Right. And playing around that grab is going to be the game. I mean, it's funny because in Smash 4, uh, you know, Bowser had that insane pivot grab and it was like outrageous length. But in this game, the command grab is even better. It's like he doesn't have the pivot grab, but that command grab, you're still playing around that grab. Yeah, the and, last uh, game being a little bit more like. Uh, not obviously as beneficial to movement as in this game, but the fact that he was able to get the buffs on the command grabs and still having good follow-ups off of the grabs yeah. upstairs. See, 100%. he's consistently getting these frame traps that are catching big damage on Nairo. Yeah, and I'll, this is something I was about to say is, you know, watching Nairo not be able to put Bowser in as much of a blender as we think mm -hmm. with Palutena's nares and stuff, it looks like Bowser has has him in the blender. I mean, 0 to 70 almost. That was some excellent option coverage from Nairo, though. And he's going to almost catch him with the two-frame, but immediately covering the roll as well. Seems like Nairo starting to turn it up a little bit on these ledge traps. 
Yeah, that's the game. Nairo has to really abuse his character's recovery and at the ledge. That's where Bowser loses. And Leon just calling out these jumps with the fair, man. We've been seeing a lot of that so far. Let's see how uh, Nairo uh, adapts to that. And yet yeah, again with man, the fair at the ledge. Are insane. Like I get it. You want you like you want to get out of there quickly. You have to. You, you need to get away from Bowser. But Leon has just been doing so good of calling him out with pretty much every route he's taking. Right. Yeah. It just feels like so much of Palutena's kit is is jumping in and jumping in place, and he's just been calling that out with that ridiculously large and powerful fair. So I'm, I want to see what Nairo does about this. Yeah, now the big thing that Nairo's so strong with is the long game. He usually doesn't get mixed up by the same options as the game progresses. He's right. really good at adjusting. Get us clean that stock up only true at 36%. Combo. At that percent on heavies, you know, it becomes a true combo, and you just die from down throw or our bear. Exactly. You got to make sure, like, don't miss that window of opportunity. You drop that stock, and now you're dealing with a Bowser with a lot of rage. And you see, he's already adjusting a bit to the way that Leon was boxing his way out. Right. Unfortunately, not getting a proper nair that he needed there, getting a trade, was still exerting this pressure, continuing to push him to the corner. Yeah, and I think the stage choice is really smart here from Nairo because I, uh, this stage, it's like he, he wins neutral or gets a stray hit, and immediately Bowser's going to be off stage or at the ledge. And that's really what you want. He wanted maybe the smaller stage. I feel like Pokemon Stadium with the two platforms, that kind of hindered his ability to keep Bowser at bay. And also an interesting concept behind that is a lot of times people think, okay, big body, right? I want to have more room to zone him. I want to be able to right. reset. But it actually works better for Leon because right. when he gets pressured by Nairo, he can run to the other exactly. side and stop the uh, momentum that Nairo has. Right. Short stage like this, short hop nairs, kind of stuff on a majority of your options on approach. Right. And people forget, you know, Bowser's really fast. I mean, I, I don't know about in this game, but in, in oh, that back air. <laughs> Oh, that took my breath right there. Yeah, just barely missing with that back here. Up smash also not going to take it yet either. Explosive flame still not going to do it either. Like, All right, but that time, oh, he actually didn't get an up air to wow. follow up. Now, I wonder if that was a miss input. I mean, you would think that he was just wanted that up air. Leon using all of the way to his advantage, but the moment he had to jump back there, he had no other resources. Nairo knew. Good cancel because he was hunting for that during the invincibility. Right. I mean, fearless play from both of these guys right now. Leon just not intimidated right now by... The NRG Nairo the presence. He's just playing his mind. He's playing his heart out. It's really great to watch. Now, forward throw, good DI from Nairo as well. Most people yeah, would have been killed there. by that. That is a very strong forward throw. Like, uh, it's it's so important that you go into this type of set, especially against someone like Nairo, with confidence like the way Leon is playing right now. Yeah. You can't be afraid if you want to get by them. That command grab should finally do it. Yes. And that platform is going to, that's the thing about the platform stages, they're always going to assist to side B killing maybe a little bit earlier. There he would have probably died anyway, but um, that middle platform, like, they're going to be looking to do that side B on that platform. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, this yeah. character's got the sauce. He's like, got stuff, A man. lot of and people are sleeping yeah. on him. Right. All these characters, ooh, ooh, he got him to jump, but he, he catches him again on the frame trap as well, forcing him to go high. And he caught him with the back air! And that's gonna oh actually be 2-0. Oh. Oh. oh no, we're doing best of five. Yeah, this is best of five, oh, but Leon, Oh my goodness. Leon, Nairo nodding his head there, really impressed with Leon, that's great. Yo, you gotta respect yeah. everything that's happening right now. If you're Nairo, it's like, Leon's you know what? playing his mind out. That's, and like, you know, for us, this is not that surprising. We know Leon very well. He, he might be new to a lot of the national I'm almost willing stage. to put money on. Nairo switching the game in right now. I actually think right, he's going to stay with Palu. Oh, okay. okay. I felt like uh, with the kill power that's been coming in from right. uh, from Leon and the option coverage he's right. already getting on him consistently, you replace that with the kill potential of Ganon, right. and now you're in a better shape. But, but the Leon, yeah. he's been ledge trapping him so long. Exactly. Ganon can't buy that. And also, Bowser can gimp Ganon. Like, Bowser gets gimped by everyone, but he can actually reverse that on Ganon. Oh, wow. Really nice cross-up Nair there on, on a, from Nairo, yeah. which is surprising because Bowser actually has really good tools to deal with cross-ups, like his up out of shield. Usually, you can't get away with cross-ups, but Nairo doing a great job here of uh He's actually kind of baiting it out, too. Like, they looked at right there. He jumped at him knowing he was out of range to almost bait an aggressive option out of him. Drop down Nair. It's not going to get anything off of it. And even at 67%, regardless of how much damage that Nairo's been putting on, he could potentially die now because of being, like, just having so much rage. Yeah, I mean, damn, Leon really just brought this back out of nowhere. Did you this hear that? Oh, boy. Oh, ooh, he got that stuck. But did you hear that? I heard, not, like, I felt like I heard a lottery machine going off. Because oh. Nairo was mashing, but he got punched in the face he got by that L-Till. My man is tilted right now off that L-Till. That is crazy. I never thought that angle would connect. That is... It's such a big... Whoa. All right, there and you go. Nairo That's a confidence move right there. Oh you need to God. solidify an early stock because you need to make sure all these trades that you're getting with Leon right now are beneficial yeah. to you. He's digging deep. He, Bro. His option coverage is insane. 
And now Leon has unlocked the demon mode Nairo. This is this is when Nairo really starts to get scary. Yeah, and once really comes off, he wants to hear the crowd trying to cheer against right. him. It's like, he yo, I'm gonna work that against off. you. Yeah. See, and there we go with the uppy out of shield. Uh, he's finally crawling out those cross-ups. It's so important having a good out of shield option like that. Yeah. Just being able to stop that cross-up pressure, like you said. Also, just shielding so bad in this, getting clapped Nairo in the back, and he digs deep. is not afraid right now. He's going in. This is this is interesting. Both players smiling at each other. This is great. They're yeah. probably enjoying the set. And if you're Leon, it's as like, you know what? Are. Just stop. Maybe take a second. Like, all right, what happened? Why yeah. did that change? Because right. I was doing so well against him in the first two games. A lot of people aren't willing to take that time and think, all right, he caught on to this. I right. need to adjust to this. Right. They just want to keep doing the same game exactly. plan as before. And that's how you get clapped. Right. Once someone shows you the answers to, they answered all the problems. Mm -hmm. Now you have to come up with new problems that they might not have the answer to. You have to have your own answers. Because then that's when you see these very, like, these reverse 3-0 sets where people just get bodied by the end of it, even though they were up two games. So we'll see. I, I believe in Leon. He's a great player from, from your week. He's, he's going to have answers. The way that he's been playing, I'm definitely yeah. impressed in, uh, like, the way he's been dealing with this matchup. But it's also just, you know, poor proof to the fact that Bowser has the ability to contend. Yeah, right. Now, Nairo, though, he's I'm, utilizing exactly what he needs to. He's just playing the mid-range game, but just enough out of range to not get grabbed or get punished properly. But right. the damage is just so swift from swift Leon. It doesn't even matter. The damage output difference is insane. And, and you know, that's saying something, because Palutena's damage output is actually amazing. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, interacting with Bowser like this, I mean, and I think the thing that Nairo figured out a little bit is, like, he just stopped getting hit by fair. Like, if you look at the, the first two games, he was getting called out for these jumps. And now he's just keeping him at the ledge and getting in and being smart about how he crosses up his shield. Yeah, when Nairo is playing completely on point, his ledge trap game is insane. That was really smart because he knew that he was going to be a disadvantage and Leon would be trying to position himself. The Nair backed him off. Now, what we're seeing a lot of that I'm noticing is that Leon is holding shield and waiting to see what Nairo does on block and then punishing that. But Nairo caught on to that, and he, now he's just empty hopping, tomahawking into his shield, but not pressing a button, and then just grabbing him. Exactly. So, he's playing in that, like, that perfect 45-degree angle where he has to commit to it like a jump fair, right. but he's fading back. So it's like, all right, if you fair at me right now, I'm going to punish you on your way back down. Right. So you have to be way more committed coming at me now. And there we go. Leon answering that cross-up Nair with a turnaround command grab. That and up till almost killing Nairo. Oh, just barely missing the up air as well, trying to read a jump. But he's going to get to command grab on the landing. That is a death. Wow. And we're going to go back to a position where Leon gets himself into a spot to run it back, regardless of being 86 to 0. We've already seen how quick this damage right, output yeah, is. Right, yeah, the damage output is, is amazing. Bowser can do it. And this stage is really going to all get. Following that tag. Oh, he doesn't get the full hop on the second jump there, trying to go for a fair to force him back off. But see, Ny Nairo, when you give him this opportunity, oh, does it go, does it go for a nair there? Opposite go for a dare instead. Luckily, he doesn't get punished. Wow, that was a that was a really interesting scenario. He fared into Leon Shield, but the animation. Oh, and there that to is back a true air. combo at that true point, combo. and that is potentially yet again a, a situation where Nairo could be looking at his last stock of winner's life. Man, this would be an insane upset. Okay, Nairo answering back with that patented true combo of his own. Exactly. Down throw back here. If you're not converting on him, then you're going to lose yeah. that potential to get a kill. Neither one of these players are missing their opportunities. That good out of shield option, like you said before. Right. Deal with that cross up. Make him feel uncomfortable. But now... Oh man, Leon is fearless, man. This is great Yo, to watch. Leon, Leon is actually doing what he did to Ni what Nairo's doing to him. Almost oh. catching him on a jump with that fair. He is unanswered completely so far on this stock. Yeah, oh, and he there it is. jumps the wrong way, and that actually is going to take it out. Nairo. Leon going to win 3 1 over Nairo wow, to start amazing. top 32. Amazing. Amazing performance from Leon. Leon what? is. Wow, Nairo congratulating Leon yeah, you know, right now. That was an amazing, amazing yeah. set. That is one of those times where it's like, you know what? I just have to accept what happened. Yeah. Claw through, uh, you know, just bring my way back to losers. But what an excellent victory yeah. for Leon right now. That's, that's, and you know what? Losers is going to be a scary place now. Nairo yeah. and losers is another human <laughs> The being. amount of people who are outside <laughs> of the venue, like trying yeah. to preemptively, all right, who well, I got to go through? Right. You know? All right, so I got to play Leon, maybe. I got to climb through this. Yeah. Oh, I got I Nairo, Nairo now. Yeah. All right, well, it looks like I'm going yeah. home early. Not, Nairo you know, 